I went along to meet Dr. Blake to find out what it is like to visit a GP surgery. I also found out about some of the things that happen at the doctor's. Lucy Reed. Hello Lucy, I'm Dr. Blake. Would you like to come in? Hello Lucy, I'm Dr. Blake. I understand you've, you've come today to find out a little bit more about what might happen when you come to see the doctor. Yes, I have. Is that right? Yes. Sometimes people get a bit nervous talking to the doctor. Well, usually when people come to the doctor it's because they're feeling unwell and the doctor might ask you what symptoms you've got. When the doctor says symptoms, what they usually mean is the feelings that you have in your body that let you know that you're unwell. So maybe you've been having some aches or some pains. Lots of different things can be happening. So it's a good idea before you come to the doctor to have a think about how you've been feeling. The doctor might ask you some questions about your aches and your pains, perhaps when they started the things that make them worse and the things that make them better. So it's a good idea to have a think about all of this before you go and see the doctor. Okay. Will I need an examination? What is an examination? Sometimes when you go to the doctors they might want to do some sort of an examination. Exactly what they do will depend on what problems you were um, telling the doctor about when you came in. Some really common things are to have your blood pressure checked when they put a big cuff around your arm and pump it up so it goes quite tight. Mm -hmm. um, other things they might want to do is weigh you or measure you. Sometimes they might ask you to go and sit on a couch so that they can examine your tummy or your legs. Um, but the exact thing that happens will depend on, on what the doctor wants to find out. The doctor should always ask you before they do an examination and you can always say no if there's anything that you're not comfortable with. Sometimes they might ask for some blood tests. Usually these aren't done during the appointment and they might give you a form to take home to come back and see the nurse. You mentioned blood tests. What does that... Does, some people are scared of having their blood taken. But can you reassure them? Yeah, a lot of people don't like having their blood taken. I think if the doctor suggests anything that makes you feel a bit worried, then you need to tell them as soon as you can, straight away if possible, and then you can talk through what your worries are, and then the doctor hopefully will be able to reassure you and help you with that. So if I had some symptoms and I was ill, uh, what would happen next? Well, first of all, the doctor might be able to give you a diagnosis. This is the medical name for the, the illness that you're having. It's a good idea for you to make sure you understand what the illness is. And you might find that you need to ask the doctor quite a few questions to make sure that you've understood it. And you shouldn't be scared to do this. The doctor should be able to explain to you so that you understand what the problem is. The doctor might give you some advice on how you can help yourself to feel better. Um, there can be loads of things they might suggest, you know, from altering what you're eating, getting more sleep, um, lots of things that the doctor might suggest that you can do. Um, the other thing that might happen is the doctor might suggest that you have some tablets to help you feel better. It, it's a good idea that you, you ask some questions about the tablets that are being prescribed. A lot of tablets have side effects. Um, these are um, things that the tablets can do that, that make you feel unwell and it's important to know what they are. So make sure you understand any medication that's given to you, what it's for and what all of the effects might be. Sometimes it can be a good idea to ask the doctor to write things down for you so that you can go over them with somebody at home later to make sure that you don't forget things. It's really important before you leave the doctors to make sure that you've said everything that you want to say. And it's also really important to make sure that you've understood everything that the doctor said to you. So if there's anything that you're not sure about, ask the doctor to explain it again or to write it down so that you can go home and talk to somebody about it. Thank you for all your help today. It's reassured me. I'm glad you found it useful, Lucy, and I look forward to seeing you again sometime.